Okay, hello students. My name is Dawn Martin, and I'm going to be teaching my second grade classroom today. I have a few students in the classroom today, and we are going to be reviewing over a few vocabulary terms before we begin our lesson so that we understand things before we can begin. Then after we review over those vocabulary terms, we're going to be comparing the book There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Chick by Lucille Calandro along with a video of the nursery rhyme, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly. So first, we are going to review over our vocabulary terms. The first one is the word compare. The word compare means to measure what is the same or different about something. So we are going to be comparing two different objects here and saying what is the same and what is different about them. The next thing we need to know is the definition of the word same. This is matching or identical. It is the opposite of different. The next word is different, which is not the same as each other. It is unalike. Okay, so first we are going to be using a water bottle and a pop bottle, and we are going to be comparing them, saying if they are the same or different. Okay, so who can tell me what is different about these objects? Josh, what is different? Uh, one is pop and one is water. That's right. The What is inside them is different. And Craig, what is something that is the same about these objects? They're both in plastic containers. Yeah, yeah that's right. They're both in plastic containers. Now, um, let's compare something else. Here's a water bottle and a tennis bottle. Is there anything that is the same about these two objects? No. no. Yeah, not really. Is What is something that is different about these two objects? One is round. That's right. Yeah. One's, one's round. We got the tennis ball that's round here. The other one's a cylinder. That's right. And this one's shaped more like a cylinder. Okay. So I'm going to compare one more thing here. Here we have a glass of water and a bottle of water. Josh, what is something that is the same about these objects? Uh, they are both water. That's right. They both have water. If we were to put this glass of water into a bottle like this, it would be the same thing. Okay, what is something that is different about these, Craig? The containers that hold the water are different. Right. That's, one is a cup and one is a water bottle. That's right. Okay. So... The reason why we would need to know if something is the same or different is because in real life, maybe we might want to compare things to each other. Like maybe we might go to Walmart and buy a bottle of water and want to know how much that water costs because we only have so much money. And so if we go to Dylan's, we can compare if Dylan's bottled water is cheaper than Walmart's. So that way, you know, we, sometimes in life you need to know whether things are the same or if they are different. Okay, now for our lesson today, we are going to be reviewing over a video of There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly, and in that video, it is about a nursery rhyme called There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly. How many of you have heard nursery rhymes before? Yeah, okay, you all are familiar with nursery rhymes. And so next, after that, we are going to be reading the book There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Chick. And then we are going to compare that video with this book. And to do that, we are going to use something called a Venn diagram. And this is what I have up on my whiteboard here. And you guys have handouts that say the same exact thing as my whiteboard. In my whiteboard, I have what is different about where the old lady that swallowed the fly and what is different about the old lady that swallowed the chick. And in, in the middle here, we are going to write what is the same about both the video and the story that we read. Okay. So now, many of you know what a nursery rhyme is, so we're going to be watching our video. And I'm going to get a laptop here to play our video. Normally we would be using a smart board, however today our smart board is broken. I'm going to play just a small clip here. Normally I'd play it all for you, but for this instance, we're just going to play some of it.
Okay. That's all we're going to be reviewing over that for now. And then next, we are going to be reading the story, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Chick. And we are going to compare the differences between the video that we just watched and this story. So the story begins, There was an old lady who swallowed some straw. The chick looked in awe as she swallowed the straw. She swallowed the straw to cover the chick. I don't know why she swallowed that chick, but she didn't get sick. There was an old lady who swallowed an egg. She didn't beg to swallow that egg. She swallowed the egg to jazz up the straw. She swallowed the straw to cover the chick. But I don't know why she swallowed that chick, but she didn't get sick. Now in the middle of the story, we had read that she swallowed the straw on the chick. She started hopping up and down. She had already swallowed candy. And then at the very end of the story, we have Happy Spring, where after swallowing all that stuff, she created a spring Easter basket. Okay, so now we are going to use our Venn diagram. First, we are going to start out together, and I'm going to have each one of you come up and write something on my board. Okay, so Craig, can you come up and write what was different about there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. What was something that was different in the story? There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. There was a fly. That's right. And there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. There was a fly involved in that story. When in this story, there was an old lady who swallowed a chick, there was no fly. Okay, Josh, can you come up and write something that was different about there was an old lady who swallowed a chick? That's right, Josh wrote that the chick was something that was different about that story. So now in each one of these columns, we have something that is different. I want you guys on your handout, once we start, I want you to write six things that are different about there was an old lady who swallowed a fly and six things that are different about there was an old lady who swallowed a chick. And then we are writing at least two things that are the same. Can someone give an example of one thing that they saw that was the same about both these? Josh, what was something that was the same? Uh, the old lady. That's right, there was an old lady in both the nursery rhyme and the book. The right old lady. So I expect you guys to find at least one more thing that is different, or I mean, sorry, that is the same about both. Okay, now, Josh, are you having a hard time staying on task there? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Okay, so I want you to use your Venn diagram, and instead of using it for what, for comparing the two books and the stories, I want you to use it to compare our manipulatives that we have used. So I want you to put pop bottle on the top of one side, and water bottle on the other side, and I want you to compare the differences, okay? okay? And then in the middle, write what is same. What is the same about this pop bottle and this water bottle, okay? okay? So you do that while the rest of the class is going to work on comparing, comparing what is the same and different between our storybook and our video that we watched, okay? Okay. So the rest of you guys, after you've worked for about five minutes individually I want you to get together with your partner and I want you to ask them questions and come up with different ideas maybe some of you notice different things that were different that others didn't I want you to have a discussion with your partner and talk about that together okay so after we read there was an old lady who swallowed a chick Tell me why you think the old lady swallowed the chick. Or towards the end of the book, I'm trying to say this here. Why do you think that old lady swallowed that chick? Craig, do you know why? Because she wanted to create an Easter basket. That's right, she was making an Easter basket. All that stuff she swallowed, she was really swallowing just to make an Easter basket. So, what was your favorite version when comparing the nursery rhyme to the story that we read? 
Which one did you like better? Josh, which one did you like better? Uh, the fly. The old lady who swallowed the fly. You like the nursery rhyme better? There was an old lady who swallowed a fly? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, why did you like that one better? Uh, more a crazy story. You thought the story was a little more crazy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Okay. And so, why do you think that is important to judge whether something is the same or one that's different? Why is that important? Uh, so that you know what you're getting in the end, what you're choosing. Yeah, so that you can... of what you want. So you can understand what is different about something or if it's something that you actually want. Yep. Yeah, that's why I hate to go to the store and buy a bottle of water and find out that it's really really flavored water, something that I don't like. We need to understand what is, what we are getting. Yep. Okay. And so today we have learned about ob objects that can be both the same and different. We have reviewed over a nursery rhyme video of There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly. And we also read the book There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Chick. And we compared them with each other of what was the same and different using a Venn diagram. And, and then after using our Venn diagram, we have also understood a little bit better on how to compare things. And for enrichment, because I know, Craig, you were saying that you were having a hard time understanding yes. how to use it. Yes. Okay. So the people, the students that are having a hard time understanding, will you please raise your hand if you don't understand the Venn diagram? I don't understand, teacher. Okay. So for a little bit more practice with this, I'm going to have you students go to www.studyzone.org. I'm going to leave this up on the board so you guys can see it. I want you to get your laptops and type in this website. And then in the search bar, I want you to type in compare and contrast. I'm going to leave this up on the board so that you guys can type that in. And in that, it's going to give you a Venn diagram just like the ones we are working on in our handouts. And it's going to give you two different stories, and you're going to have to compare what is different with those stories and what is the same. That way you guys can have a little bit more practice in using that. You can also use the website Quee.com, which will give you two separate paragraphs of two different stories that you can compare together and decide what is the same about those paragraphs and what is different. Okay? Okay. Everyone understand our lesson? Yes, teacher. All right. Thank you guys so much.